as they say here, you can install from the terminal just by typing in sudo apt git install kazam, or you can go to the software center, type kazam, um, I actually did it through Synaptic, and you just pulls it up and you install it. Um, so basically once you have that installed, you know, you just flip the menu, type in kazam, or if you don't have that type, however your system happens to work. So really simple to install, um, really simple to use as well. Uh, you have your video source here. If I had my dual monitor set up running right now, I would have two screens showing there. Audio source, all your different audio inputs, and then you have a little adjuster here. Now unfortunately they don't give you a little thing to show you what your levels are at, which are unfortunate, because it would be nice to see what kind of a level you were using. Um, and then you have a secondary audio source, so say you were doing a game and you wanted to do a voiceover, you could use the audio from your computer um, and then the microphone as well. In this case, I'm only using the microphone, so we don't need that. And then you have your options for your encoder. Uh, you can do WebM or MP4, really up to you what you want to use. Countdown timer, um, it'll show you a little box which we'll be seeing in a second. Frame rate, that's just how many frames a second. And then capture mouse. Um, I would think you'd probably want to have that on most of the time. Uh, I mean, if you're doing anything and you want people to see what you're doing, handy tap it, the mouse capturing. Record region, if you only want to record a portion of your screen, you would use this. Enter to confirm, escape to cancel. I'm doing full screen, so just escape to cancel that. Quit, obviously quits. Close will minimize it to the tray. So we do close. And we'll see here, this is the one I was just showing you. And the little one here, this is the one that I'm actually using to record it. So just do record setup to pull that back up again. We hit record. So that little box I was talking about. Ooh, the recording has started. So we do, we talk, say whatever, blah, blah, blah. We have the option to pause the recording so we can pause it um, and I'll change the background no I won't because it's not running um, I'll do something so we do whatever we wanted to do while it was paused and then we click pause recording again to start the recording back up and then finish recording and then it asks us do you want to save it or do you want to edit it right away um, the only video editor I have is Kden Live but I just want to save it so we hit continue it'll ask us where do we want to save and I'll say, let's save it on desktop as untitled screencast.mp4. Sure, that sounds good. Hit save. There we go. We can quit that. Um, we can play this with VLC right away. Um, also pulling up the properties here. It's 2.9 megabytes. I mean, it's 11 seconds long, so there's not much to it. Um, if I had the original audio, you could hear it. I have my laptop's volume pretty low, so you don't really hear that right now. Um, but that's really that all that there is. Um, really simple to use, uh, nice quality, and yeah, I would definitely, if you are looking for a program to use to uh, do desktop recording, I would highly recommend Kazam.